In January of 1960, Frank and Dean, along with Sammy Davis Jr., Peter Lawford, and Joey Bishop, brought the fun they had offstage to the Sands Hotel in Las Vegas. <laughs> Frank Sinatra was a man of his time, the son of immigrants who aspired to heights and attained them. Hey, give me back. The old horse around. What's a big idea? Frankie, 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 when'd you get back? How are you? Much of Sinatra's appeal came from his talent for combining a vulnerability with a gritty image as one of the regular neighborhood guys, albeit one who made it big. The girls could mother him, but guys could emulate him. Hey, you're looking good, dealer. Put on six pounds. Wow, six pounds. He's gone so long, I thought maybe he's made one. How was it down there, Frankie? Greatest place you ever see, Vanzi. He means lucky. I'm telling you. Ball games, great food. I even learned how to play the drum. Don't make jokes, Frankie. I never know when you're making jokes. It was joking, Zosh. Listen. Nice, huh? This is Dr. Lennox. I told him my whole life story. From when I was born, almost. And about you and me. But he told me that if I lived when I got out, like I lived before I went in there, Chances are we'd be hooked again in no time. So that's why I want to get with a band. Listen. How's that? Cute. It was about this time that Frank Sinatra and his friends Sammy Davis Jr., Joey Bishop, Peter Lawford, and Dean Martin became known collectively to their fans as the Rat Pack. Shirley MacLaine was the mascot of the group. Sinatra personally produced or financed a quartet of films starring himself and his pals. The films were Ocean's Eleven, Robin and the Seven Hoods, Sergeant's Three, and Four for Texas. Well, this is my moment, my once in a lifetime when I can explore a new and exciting land. Sammy Davis Jr., the world's greatest entertainer. Exciting, outrageous, tacky, and classy. He was show business. This is my moment. My destiny called me, though it may be once in a lifetime. He sang. He danced. He told funny stories. All right, the lot is up against the wall, sweetheart. That's it. And I want just cool it with the applause, Charlie. Well, whenever he came on the scene, you know, everything just started popping. And it was so funny. I mean, he felt it absolutely necessary to make you laugh. When Sammy Frank and Dean hit Vegas, hit the Strip, or hit a club, or hit a restaurant, uh, the whole town came alive. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob the whole. In January of 1960, Frank and Dean, along with Sammy Davis Jr., Peter Lawford, and Joey Bishop, brought the fun they had offstage to the Sands Hotel in Las Vegas. I don't remember any performer being so instantly loved as Dean. If you would look at the audience, when he came out, the smiles on their face in anticipation of what he was going to say or do was absolutely unbelievable. With the meeting of all this talent on one stage, Frank called the show The Summit. The papers had another name for it, The Rat Pack. I don't know of any more honest performer in show business than Dean. And the audience knew, they felt his honesty. The guy that I know, the guy that I've spent the last 30 years with, is the sweetest, kindest, most gentle human being I've ever known in my life. Take care of yourselves and remember, everybody loves somebody and I love all of you. So good night.
Chapter with the Rat Pack films. Ocean's Eleven. Sergeant's Three. Four for Texas. And Robin and the Seven Hoods. When you were in Vegas and they were there, there was an excitement to the town that to, you, you could feel. It was, it was, it was electric. The, the town came alive. I like the one where the teacher said, Tommy, you got a fairy godmother. He said, no, but we got an uncle we keep a close eye on. <laughs> then I should have come in, folks. It was like an orgy and... of these funny guys. And there was no show. There wasn't like, you do this, I'll do this, you do They were just there. They sang, they kibitzed. It was the hottest ticket in the world. No one could guess. The skinny kid from Hoboken would cavort with stars, become an internationally renowned public figure, and a confidant of presidents. Frank Sinatra redefined the image of an idol. Yeah, well, the way I see the thing, I'm going down to the Mystic Night to the Sea Law there, and we're going to talk to a few people. Hey, if all the women in Texas were as ugly as your mama, the Lone Ranger gonna be alone for a long time, yeah.